Hey everybody, Morley Scott along with Dave Campbell. The CFL's Western semifinals go this weekend. Out east, it's BC in Montreal to play the Alouettes. At Commonwealth Stadium, it's the Eskimos and the Saskatchewan Roughriders. And Dave, going into the week of preparation, there was all this mystery about the quarterbacks. Well, the mystery's been removed by both teams. Well, I thought we might have to wait till 1.30 when you and I get the game sheet in our broadcast booth and then we can frantically tweet it out and broadcast it, but no. Eskimos named their starting quarterback on Wednesday, that's Matt Nichols, and the Riders named their starting quarterback on Thursday, that is Kerry Joseph, Darian Durant not quite ready to play, same deal with Mike Riley, so it's uh, the battle of the backups and two players that have played uh, with each other in Edmonton back going back to 2010 and 2011, 2012, and of course uh, both were around last year. Of course, Nichols heard all last year. Joseph was around, so uh, it'll be an interesting matchup for the West Semi on Sunday. The last time the Eskimos played in the playoff game, Kerry Joseph started, and Matt Nichols came off the bench to start the second half in the loss in Toronto. The Eskimos offense obviously is different without Mike Riley. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it with Matt Nichols. Well, Matt Nichols is more of a, a classic drop back, stay in the pocket type quarterback. He does move. He doesn't move as well as a Mike Riley, but he can move in the pocket and stay, stay alive and make plays. A lot of pressure is going to be on John White to make sure, and that offensive line, to make sure that that run game is, uh, is going to stay consistent and stay powered up and that sort of thing. And I think it, it's really... Uh, really important for Matt Nichols and the offense that they call a game that is more of a simulated run game. So you're going to see probably a lot more screens and swing passes and shovel passes. What we see already in the offense with Mike Riley, but I think it's uh, something that you're going to see a little bit more under Matt Nichols. And then, of course, that hopefully is going to open up things downfield in the intermediate and deep area. The Eskimos and Riders have played each other three times in the last six weeks of the CFL schedule. Two of their last three games were in Regina, each team winning one of those games. They'll meet again this week in the Western semifinal. Last week's game in Regina got a little chippy. There's some bad blood here, Dave. Yeah, there is. And they're, they're, I think they're just sick of playing each other, to be quite honest with you which makes uh, Sunday's matchup even more uh, intriguing and special. And, you know, football, you're supposed to have a healthy dislike for one another. They have, they have a real healthy dislike. And uh, it's two teams that have bad blood. They don't like each other. And you know each other so well. So now it's just get out there and play and execute and let the best team win. Two teams that are sick of playing each other after Sunday. One team won't have to worry about playing anyone anymore this year. It's winner go home, the Western semifinal at Commonwealth Stadium, the Eskimos and the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. We've got the broadcast for you on 630 Chid. Our pregame show starts at 1 o'clock. We'll kick it off just after 2.30.